Hi, I'm Jessica with Electra Lane, and in this week's Friday Flash, I'll show you how to get soft, pretty Valentine's Day makeup. Happy Friday, and welcome back. So, Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and it is one of my most favorite holidays. I look forward to it all year. I even decorate my house for it. And um, my husband and I have a fun tradition of ordering pizza, cracking open a bottle of cheap champagne, and snuggling up on the couch with our two beagles, Clark and Kent, to watch a fun movie. So, no matter what type of love you're celebrating, or how you're celebrating, if you're celebrating at all, which I think you should, because even even if it's just a love yourself day, it's a day to celebrate love and all the wonderful things you know we have in our lives that we love. Um, so you can celebrate makeup if you want, and maybe even a nice soft makeup look that, like a good relationship, is very unfussy and not overthought, and it's just simple and clean, but it really makes an impact, and I love it. So stay tuned for that. But also, I would like to mention this hair. I'm not normally a crazy hair person, but I saw this on the beauty department's website. I'll link it below. And if you're looking for a nice romantic hairdo, this is a great one to try because I am hair challenged, but even I could do this. And it's actually staying in, like it's not falling out all over the place. So happy Valentine's Day. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. So to start, I'm going to be using this NARS Assist Blush Contour and Lip Palette. And I love this it because it's everything you need. I'm going to be using this lip color. This is um, Istria, I believe. It came with a kit. I'm going to be using this, which is Enthralled Blush. I'm going to be using this, which is the Roman Holiday Blush. And then this flips down, and I have my Albatross Highlighter and my um, Laguna Bronzer. So that's all pretty much we're going to be using on the face. So to start out, I'm going to take this MAC... I think 239, it's just a paddle brush, and we're going in with the enthall, enthralled blush. It's a little sparkly, not too much, but just a little. And I'm gonna tap it on the lid. That simple. And then I'm gonna go with my MAC 217. Everyone should own this brush. And then the Laguna Bronzer. And just blend back and forth in the crease and I also I prepped my um, eyes with a little concealer and translucent powder before I started so that's it your eye makeup's done yay um, you don't have to use eyeliner for this but I, I think it really does help so I'm taking a flat brush this is the Laura Mercier flat eyeliner brush but you can get this in a craft store even and this is my Mac Smolder eyeliner it's just any black eyeliner you want and I'm gonna go in and push right at the base of my lashes and really like the t kind of the the way I do this at least is I kind of start at the base of my lashes and push into the actual root where it touches my skin on my eyelid and that really locks it in place you can also tight line which is to kind of go underneath here and do this part the way my eyelashes are and my eyes are shaped that makes absolutely no difference at all so I do it this way on top so there you go, and you can use liquid or gel or whatever kind of eyeliner you want. Well, I already did my brows and my skin um, in terms of foundation, but now we're going to go in with the Laguna Bronzer, and this is my MAC 168 maybe brush. It's just a nice angled brush, which I like for bronzer because it kind of does all the work for you. I'm just going under my cheekbones just to warm up the skin. Again, this is a really unfussy look. Um but we don't want our skin to be flat. So I'm just kind of going in and layering as much as I think I need. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go around and do a bit of light sort of contouring, if you will. You do not have to do this step. You know, if you wanna do the, just the cheeks, that's fine, but I think going kind of around your face gives everything a really polished look and, and really ties everything in together. So really, really subtle. And now I'm going to go back in with the Roman Holiday Blush, which is a really bright pink. But we're going to apply it just really lightly to the apples of our cheeks and blend it back into the bronzer. This is barely detectable. I'm using such a light hand with this. Um, and another reason why I really like this makeup look. 
I know another step that you don't have to do, but I think it just makes the whole face look so nice, is I'm taking my um, Makeup Forever Lift Concealer in number three, and I'm going to warm it up between my fingers, and I'm just gonna go right on top of my cheekbones to brighten up this whole area. And definitely put it over my lips to lock in the gloss I'm going to put on later. A lot of people use powder for this instead of a cream or liquid product, but I have such dry skin that the, the liquid really, really works well for me, and um, it just makes me happy. <laughs> I think, I feel like my whole look comes together when I do this. And now I'm taking a little bit of the, see, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and the Wayne Goss Number no. 2 brush. And I'm just going to knock a whole, a whole bunch of it off and go in and lightly tap on top of my cheekbones to kind of lightly set this and make everything matte. Um, this is the one powder that when applied really lightly um, to set, it doesn't get all cakey um, in this area. Now this is the part that I think is absolutely essential to this look. I'm taking this Albatross highlighter and my Wayne Goss number 14 brush. And I love this part so much. I'm just going on the very tops of my cheekbones. So you're going to want to feel where your cheekbones are. Okay, mine are right here. And then sort of on the top. So like the light is coming down and hitting you right here. And then I also like to go just above my eyebrow. And we're kind of making this nice C right here. Although you don't have to actually hit this part. I just kind of like to hit here and hit here. If there's any left over, I kind of go right under the brow. But that's it. You don't really want to add a lot of sparkle here. That's very, um, like, 90s prom. So, One tip I really have is to stay kind of right here. You don't really want to go in this area because that's where you can tend to look very shiny. Yay. And then the one other thing I like to do is take some of this highlighter and pop it just in the inner corners of the eye. Now lashes really super important to curl your eyelashes here this was the billy b eyelash curler it's my favorite so far that i've tried this is the nars audacious mascara top and bottom so last but not least um lips i'm going to do subculture by mac and this lip gloss i talked about in the beginning and this is going to be really subtle, just like everything else. And I really like to line the lips here because we're not using a lipstick. So the mixture of the concealer on the lips and the lip pencil is going to give your lips some shape and help the gloss stay on a lot longer. So the last step is to take um, some setting spray. I'm using my Caudalie Beauty Elixir. And just gently setting the makeup. I like this one because it, it makes my skin look a little more dewy than my usual Urban Decay All Nighter. So I'm going to go fix all of this and I'll be back to show you how it all comes together.